Yeah. This guy is selling this at uh, three dollars. <laughs> yeah. For security. I need it. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> no, I don't want this. Uh, I'm not it, where, where do you get this from? You buy? the mother. If I meet him, me, it's content. Have you ever wanted something badly? <laughs> For us men, it's very common. We'd be like, I want this woman badly. But I sometimes we want something different. We want to make money. We want freedom. We want to learn culture. We want to learn languages. We want to travel. Wow. So today, I was uh, up to interacting with the Maasai people. I wanted to learn their culture. And to be specific, I wanted to interact with the um, Maasai warriors. Guess what? I learned something different that I never expected I could learn. I received a call from my friend Lejani and the purpose of the call was to accompany him to the river. You know what takes place at the river? You have to be harmed to the teeth. In the river, we have lions, we have crocodiles, we have all types of reptiles and uh, can carnivores. Yeah, you call them carnivores or carnivorous? I don't know, how you, it all depends with where you went to school. But you understand what I'm saying. So, you have to be very keen, very observ observative. At the water, you might be having all kinds of animals, dangerous animals here, and you have to protect your animals. So guess what? I was busy trying to spot anything that I feel I could arm our animals. So I'm very keen. The arrow you can see, there's something I always suspected uh, was up to attacking the gods. And you know what? If you dare attack our gods, then you become a meal as well. All the boys who are accompanying me, sorry, I call them boys, they are warriors. Every warrior at this point was armed to the teeth. Yeah, you may, must make sure that nothing comes in between you and your animals. From the a small boy to the graduating warrior. Yeah? You have to make sure that your animals are very safe. And it will be very bad if you went back home and tell your parents your animal is missing. Yeah? You better tell them that you killed the animal and the animal is here. Yeah, and everyone will be out there celebrating. You are a warrior, you killed a lion, you killed a, a crocodile. And now the crocodile becomes a meal. Rather than telling them, oh, your goat is missing. That would be the saddest day of your life. So to avoid that, you make sure you are very keen. Yeah? I was told that um, you, 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 you have the learning, there are two types of learning, social learning, and uh, the learning you get in school. These guys practice social learning. It's very important. You must be taught how to protect your animals, how to protect your family, how to be a responsible man. I prefer this, other than uh, being responsible in class. <laughs> Yeah, teach me this and teach me how to make money so that I may travel. Now watch the video and I hope you're going to like everything about this video.
time these guys are watering their animals and the dust is too much so at times I, I keep on uh, wiping my screen my, I keep on wiping my lenses I mean so those are the Maasai warriors the boys so these are the boys who look after the cattle Pepe Now you see what you have to do Yes You know what you have to buy one 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 Nya tatu. Eh. Nya tatu sio ndakupa. Ndakupa. Ah nda atanitafuta yangu mpya. Eh. So I'm trying. Hata ni muonyesha what I'm looking for. Yeah. This guy is selling this at uh Masai. dollars. Yeah. For security. I need it. Yeah, come on. No, I don't want this. Where do you get this from? You buy? No, you buy it? Yeah. Mm, but I don't want that. Just want that one. Yeah, I What's your name? I'm going to go to I'm going to go to bro. I'm going to go to the south. I'm going to go to the south. I'm going to go to the so, you want to buy that? Yes, I want to buy that. So, my name is Gossi Africa. Leave a comment. Where are you watching me from? So, I'm living the life at the village. I'm living the life with the Maasai people. For once, I'm staying with them with them that I'm expected to be here for the next several days so if you want uh, a contact related to Master, you can always leave a comment and tell me or you contact me direct on my whatsapp or in my email and tell me uh, what do you expect from me what do you want to see from the Maasai people I haven't got an opportunity to go to their uh, Manyata and show how they how the, the, their homes look like i really want to do that i really want to meet with uh, them and tell to, to, to know more about their culture yeah their culture is quite different from what we experience from other communities in this beautiful country but it's a good place i love this wow Their livelihood is so communal. Their lands are communal. Yeah, you can always graze your cattle, your sheep, anywhere. Though that's a disadvantage at times because you have no title deeds for your land. And chances of someone taking your land is so easy. Because they keep on uh, shifting. They, they are pastoralists. So today they might be here. Next week, they are somewhere different and they never leave someone there to look for that land, to look for their property. So chances of losing your property is very high. As a man, you grow up wishing to be a warrior, never knowing that what these people go through is not easy. Can you imagine? living somewhere in a remote village more than this one and you never have dreams like having a vehicle having a big house all you have in mind is to have a lot of cows a lot of animals yeah having a, a big grazed land having, having uh, many wives and kids Damn, I don't want to live uh, that kind of a life. Yeah, I want to live a happy life whereby I can achieve all I want 
Dobra. Yeah? I wanna think big. I wanna make friends outside uh, the country. And, uh, you know, these people always think of uh, establishing themselves in their community. Being big in your community, being famous in your community. Yeah? Being the toughest warrior. You killed a lion. But for me, I want to conserve all this. I want to conserve wild animals. I don't want to be known like, don't want to be known as the high person who fights a lot, the energetic man. I want to have a different kind, a different kind of life. I want to be praised like the guy with a lot of brains. The guy who started Gossi Africa and uh, now Gossi Africa is a big media group. That's all I will have in mind. So that's how we're different. So this is Africa. We are inside the Great Rift Valley. What you can see from that side, that's an escarpment. So I'm um, inside the Rift Valley. So I think, oh, it's days on a weekend. These boys never went to school. Mambo. What's your name? You go to school? No. You don't go to school? It's a weekend. Oh, it's a weekend? Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up? What's your name? What's your name? You never went to school? We are going to go to school, see you? I'm going to go to Teach him how to speak English. Yeah. On boys pool table. So that's a, that, that's a recreation center for the boys in this village. You know, there are some kids there. I guess they are hunting. What are those boys doing there? They're hunting or something? Yes. They're hunting? What? Lizards? They're hunting what? Mm, they're hunting. Yeah. Grasshoppers. Yes. Oh, they eat? They eat them? Yes. Oh, you guys. How do you eat grasshoppers? You, you roast them? Yeah. Wow, that's good. Yeah. I like that. Oh, you eat? Yeah. I love that. Oh, this is a market? What's the name of the market? Shop. Oh, it's a shop? Yeah. Oh. Where's your home? Oh, this is your home. Oh. Okay. good. Love that. So my name is Go See Africa and I want to end this video at this point. So whoever is not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Have a good bye.